before you draw your picture. Okay. Do you predict that each friend will have less than a whole pizza or more than a whole pizza? More, well not a whole pizza, so less than a whole pizza. Less than a whole pizza, what made you think that? Um, because there was eight friends and five pizzas. It got me confused when I first read it because it, I thought it was opposite. Okay, all right. So, so tell me again why you think each person will get less than a whole pizza? Because there is more friends and there is pizzas. Okay, all right. Go ahead and draw a picture to solve this problem. So this is friend one, friend two, three, six, friend seven, and eight. So, so tell eight. me what you've done so far. So every person would get at least a half of a pizza. Okay, all right. <clears throat> this last one was point two. So it's eight, so one, two, three, four. So each one you get. One half and one, how would I do that? Okay, so that's a good question. So you're telling me that each person is going to get one half, let me just shade this in, and each person is going to get one eighth. So we can't call both of these halves. Because we can't call both of these eighths. We need to figure out a way to have a common name to call both of these things. So can we change this one somehow so these are eighths? Maybe get four eighths instead. Okay, so, so four eighths. It would be five eighths. Okay. <gasps> you know what I see? What? Eight friends. Five pizzas. Five eighths. Crazy, right? Is that a coincidence or do you think that will always happen? I think it will always happen. Why? Because it happens in most of my problems unless it's an improper fraction.